welcome to part one of this video on how to resize and send a photograph via email. One of the problems with today's modern digital cameras is they produce a photograph that has a file size that is in many cases too large to send via email. And I hope to show you how to resize the photograph in this section so that you can send it. Now during this discussion if I say click or or I say double click it will be with the left mouse button on your mouse. Alright we're gonna start out now. Alright we'll go down here first to the start menu and right now I'm using Windows 7 and this is what mine looks like and when you got your mouse over it you click once. Okay then click on all programs And then go down to uh, in your computer. Everybody has this. It's a file called Accessories. Click there once. And then scroll down to this program here called Paint. And click it once. Okay. Paint program is up. And we're ready to resize your photograph. First, we're going to go up here to the file menu. I'm going to click this little arrow right here. And we're going to select open to open our picture that we want to change. All right, depending on where your pictures are stored on your computer, it'll come up completely different than this. Uh, now on my computer and on many computers, uh, it, you, you have a standard place for pictures. And if you look on the left hand side of your screen, you'll see a place that's called pictures, oddly enough and you can click there. Now once you've done that, now you move over to the right side of the screen and these are this is the items that are in the place called pictures and we'll scroll down and you can see that we have several pictures that are in here and we're going to select one of them. And let's see. We're going to select uh okay. Let's select this one here. It's called uh Balandra 08.jpg and we're going to select it and you know it says highlighted now and then we're going to click the open button down here one time. All right the picture's being loaded now the reason you don't see much right now is because it's very big and we're going to use the elevator button over here and we can scroll down in the picture a little bit like this or we could use the uh, little buttons here to move up and down a line at a time a little slower and also we can scroll horizontally back and forth like this we're not really interested in it we're only interested in resizing the picture so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click this little button here called resize click it one time with the left mouse button alright and this little dialog here comes up and this is asking us how we want to resize it alright do we want to resize it by percentage or pixels We'll get into what uh, pixels mean in another lesson. All right now, we're just going to resize it by percentage. Well, we look first down here on this screen, and we can see that the current size of this picture is 2.1 megabytes. Now, meg stands for million, so that's 2.1 million bytes of information. All right, that's kind of big to send. So we're going to make it be, uh, let's see, about hmm, not half, but let's say about 30% of that okay maybe yeah about 30 35 percent so let's go up here and we're gonna change this one we're gonna go move put the cursor in this little box here and then we're gonna with the left mouse button we're gonna click twice real fast that's called a double click we just did that alright and now we're gonna type in um, the number 35 And you notice that the vertical area moved to 35 percent also that's because we have this checkbox checked down here which maintain aspect ratio. All right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to move the mouse down here to the OK button and click once with the left mouse button one time. Okay, the picture now has been resized and it's ready to be saved. So we're going to go up here to the file menu again and click here. Now, if we click on just save, that will overwrite or remove the current the original picture we'll lose it well I'm not sure we want to do that so let's save it as a different name 
and we're going to say save as. We're going to click that and then we're going to save it in the same directory or the same area and Windows automatically puts in the original name which is balandra08.jpg well in order to change that we're going to click just past the 8 with the mouse one time to get the flashing cursor there and we're going to then type a B to make sure that that's a different picture and then we'll move down here to the bo bottom right and we'll click the save button okay you have just resized your picker picture and saved it and now in our next lesson we are ready to email, email this picture to your friend by the way look down here at the bottom we've now reduced that picture in size to 240 kilobytes kilobytes means 240,000 bytes we went from two point something million bytes to 240,000 bytes which is quite a d decrease in size okay we're gonna close paint by clicking this button right here one time with the left mouse button and we're ready for part two.